All right. So this happened a while ago. This is something I had to type out myself. Um, yeah. So, in in an article in April 2021, Andrew Yang is not outright pro-life. He says he supports it, though he showed us his true colors by telling women to stop celebrating abortion. Um, that Democrats quote have to get back to the point where no one is suggesting that we be celebrating an abortion at any point in the pregnancy. And this is just kind of stupid because as if women are just like so excited to get one. It's just about having a human right that they should know they have, they should have. Oh, Jesus Christ. They would not be thinking like this if they were the ones like choosing with their own bodies on all the like hormones that affect you. These men are fucking nuts about how much they project this shit. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but it's just like, this comment alone kind of pissed me off. Um, but his attitude is about optics. Sure, you can have it, but don't speak it, he essentially means. Is that ally speaking words? No. Um, he distanced himself from this comment though. On a side note, other Democrats were essentially telling women to stop focusing on abortion, such as Nancy Pelosi, uh, saying focusing on abortion makes the party look bad since they suck up to conservative talking points of the family values. Um, instead, Yang awkwardly hints that women should have rights, saying, I've been a champion of women's reproductive rights from day one because it's the right thing to do on every level. Um, but he leans in with a comment at one point, saying we should be absolute about a woman's choice in any way, basically saying, and, um, but says something out of touch by basically saying he wants a time when we can stop caring about abortion. He literally kind of says this. His words were celebrate. He didn't actually say stop caring, though, but we know what he means. And quote, it's tragic to me if someone decides they don't want to have a child. Celebrating children, family, uh, these are the universal human values. So I think this is maybe true. I'm not hating on family. I have an extended family that I miss that I haven't seen since 2019. But still, uh, I feel like I don't think he should be projecting himself this much of his personal life into woman's choices, especially to a lady who he hasn't even planned this with. Um, so it feels like he's preaching a little bit of economic eugenics via the dearth birth. I don't mind if you guys think I'm reaching on that, but it only gets worse, honestly. Alright, so on the isidewith.com website, on the Andrew Yang angle of it, talking about his stance on abortion. So my issue with what he has to say isn't the logic of education and protection um, that'll curb abortions. Uh, this is absolutely true that these things will reduce the need for abortion, minus rape culture and incest culture. Um, my issue with this is hard to explain, but after reading about Matt Wattenberg, who wrote Birth Dirk, Fight, Birth Dirk, Fighting Words, and other weird books about demographic changes. There's deep political, de political demographic fear with scapegoating with the birth rate. And family values combined with passively being against abortion is a ploy against his own people. As the ugly institution being passively against abortion is sort of like um, an aesthetical thing. Capitalism doesn't like the look of abortion because it wants people to look go back to work you know uh, if you were listening I wasn't um, necessarily saying abortion is bad at all but um, there's an extreme focus not only on a historical plan that I have been studying recently with this dude but it, there's also people blaming like not enough people working based on the pandemic we were just in with COVID so there is so much going on here. People just want to blame, like, people's, like, self-preservation to not want to go into a workforce and die like that. Obviously, essentials are necessary, and some people probably should be working, I guess. But the best thing we could have done was keep things stable so that uh, the medical establishment and nurses and the doctors don't all just like get sick and die you know
because they were so like overstaffed at a point. Sorry about that, that was random. All right, so it escalates more. In June of this year, he was pretty much doing birth, dirt, birth, dearth, great replacement. Quote, deaths now outnumber births among white people in more than half the states in the country. Much of this is low birth rates and white men dying from substance abuse and life and suicide. Um, our life expectancy has declined for two years. We need to do much more, he says. And yeah, he tweeted this, by the way. Um, so he only escalated and escalated into saying these crazy things, despite some people calling him out, reminding him of what he was saying was actually insane, great replacement shit. Um, personally, I think this statement is cowardice and lowballing. Since if he really wanted to blame a birth rate he perceives as bad, it would make more sense to uh, say 50 years since Roe versus since Roe's victory, you know? As Elon Musk had to point out, saying in a tweet, the birth rate has been unsustainable for 50 years, and he of course had to emphasize the 50. Um, he go, Yang goes even further only days ago, this month, I believe, when he tweeted his understanding for the January 6th riot, ignoring the type of people who hold beliefs that would take us back hundreds of years with their Confederate flag carrying crap, stating, quote, I'm no Trump fan. I want him as far away from the White House as possible, but a fundamental part of his appeal has been its has been him against the corrupt government establishment. This raid strengthens the case for millions of Americans who will see this as unjust persecution. <sighs> that is just disgusting. He's like so far back in 2016 Gamergate shit. Can we assume he's really this blind though? In the world they want, he wouldn't be a citizen, but he backs these dog whistle and legacy American sickos. Like, goddamn. Ugh. Uh, Alright. See ya.